bishes tis i clovis aka manny bish on insta and today we are going to be doing the um lava lamp nails so i am doing this we are not using any acrylic for this i am just using gel um and dip powder that's it i tried to make this as like dip friendly as i could and like with no you know needing monomer or anything so i am applying this gel only to the part of my finger like the pink part of my nail i am only going to that where my nail ends from the cuticle to where my natural nail ends that is where i am applying this gel and then pouring over the black dip powder this is at midnight from iGel Beauty. I had to sneeze, sorry. Um, and then we are going through cleaning our cuticles and I'm going in with a the flat edge of my cuticle pusher and, and I am just making sure that we have that dip powder straight line. This is why I wanted to use gel and not dip liquids, otherwise I wouldn't have had time to really do this. So using gel, it's going to stay wet until you cure it. So before curing it, this is what I'm doing. And I'm making sure that we have that as straight as possible. Just pushing it into line where I want it. Sorry, you guys. These allergies are no joke today with the sneezing. So anyways, that is what I'm doing. And then I still haven't cured this. I am going in and doing the exact same thing on the tip of my nail just focusing this gel polish where i want the black to be i am doing this step and color at a time um to be easier for myself and not create a bigger mess than i already did which you'll see we learned some things along the way so i have better info for you guys if you want to try this so again we are straightening out that tip making sure that there's a nice straight edge and then we are going to cure this for 90 seconds um black is harder to cure so i did mine for 90 seconds now scrubby dub dubbing all that black off i am taking a lint-free wipe this is from cure sky and some alcohol and I am just going in on that clear part of the nail that we still have nothing on. And I'm just cleaning off all the black residue from there. Um, I honestly probably could have waited to do that until after this second dip, but I did not. So now we are going back through. And since we already have that outline of where the black is going to be, this second dip is going to be so much easier and you're gonna have hardly any cleanup. So I am just following that exact guideline of black, and then we are going to be pouring over again for our second layer. I am showing you guys like one to two nails at a time because of how repetitive it is. Like we are doing the exact same thing on all five fingers. You're not seeing my thumb. Like that's just adding more time that you guys would have to sit here and watch this or listen to this and then tune out. So we're just doing this a few fingers at a time so that way you can see what I'm doing without having to get bored and sit through like a 30 minute video. So again, cleaning it up, but there's like hardly anything to clean up since we followed that guideline. And then we are going to <clears throat> cure for another 90 seconds and scrubbing everything off now i'm going to be filing just to make sure that that edge is nice and crisp and that it's straight and just as good looking as it could possibly be i am just i just want it to be crisp and so i'm just i'm literally laying i took a thin file and i'm laying that just vertically right up against that edge and filing and now i am actually going to file any of the black um residue that got on the clear part i'm going to try and file as much of that off as i can and then so i'm doing this to the top section of the black and the bottom section as well and then 
clearing off any dust and residue with our lint-free wipe and some alcohol. Now we get into the jelly lava lamp part. I am taking this yellow from um, Nail Reserve. I'm not entirely sure of the name. It will be in the description box. And I am going to use this to outline where I want all the stuff. And then I'm going to be using that glow in the dark dip powder, um, Beaming Sun from Kira Sky to pour over before we care. There is no rhyme or reason for this um, jelly like lava lamp pattern situation. I'm just making it look like it is coming and dripping from the top, adding some little like bubbles and drips here and there, blobs of stuff. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the bottom as well in certain areas. I am honestly not like... I don't even know what I was saying. I had to sneeze again. Um, <laughs> I am just, what I'm really actually being honest, 100% honest with y'all, with the little black marks that I couldn't file off of my nail because I didn't want to chance like going in and um, filing through that gel base that I already had down before I even started and getting into my peel base so I didn't want to file too hard so any black that was left over I just was trying to cover that with the little yellow blobs being 100% honest now we're gonna pour over our glow-in-the-dark dip powder and I cured that I wanted to do one nail first just to see how I liked it or not and scrubbing all of this together this is where I learned some things I got black um, and I scrubbed some black into our yellow gel over there, and I scrubbed it into some of the yellow. So here I am taking some gel base really quick, and I am just going over all of that black again. So that way it'll be, like, encapsulated, and I won't, um, risk scrubbing black into all my stuff. And I am wiping the tacky layer off really quick. And I'm going to get rid of that yellow gel that we had and reapply some since we had black specks in it. So now we are continuing on. I am going to do two layers just to make it like more poppy that, you know, you know, okay. And so I'm doing two layers. I'm just going right over that exact same thing that we did and then pouring the dip powder over and then I am going before I cure this nail by itself I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do um my other nails for their first layer just saving some time here so we don't spend a bunch of extra minutes in the lamp and for these yellow parts I am just curing this for um 30 seconds first and then I'm going to Go in when I'm done with everything and cure for a full 90 again. Just to make sure everything is nice and cured. So again, no rhyme or reason really to my little drippy blob things. But um, just trying to cover up some of that black that leaked out. Now here it looks like I drew on my black at the tip, but I didn't. That's just the ledge from the black that that yellow like puddled into, which you will be able to see here in a second from a better view. Um, I did not get it on top of the black though. It's just the little ledge. And um, yeah, they're, these do not match at all. I did not make them identical with the like pattern that I was doing or anything. I made each nail their own little unique thing and I cured that. And now I'm going in with my alcohol wipe and I'm trying to get any of that yellow residue um, out of the crevices in that clear part of the nail. And now we're going to do our second layer. And I'm just going to show you this situation really quickly and then we're going to clear cap and um I will like explain that here too so 
pouring over again for a second layer curing now this is where i'm going to cure for a full um, 90 seconds just to make sure everything is good and stiff and where it needs to be so now i'm scrubbing brushing all my stuff off and then i put a little bit of alcohol on my brush and i used this to scrub it off because i couldn't get really as clean as i wanted to with that wipe and since these are bristles and can get in there and do the hard work i did this and it worked really well so now that we have this nice clear situation i am applying a thick layer of two-in-one mani boss gel and i am focusing it in that yellow like in that um negative space area where we have the jelly stuff going on that way to fill in any of those empty crevices I want that and to be even I focused the majority of the product there and then went up to the cuticle and my free edge now because I did a thick layer I am putting my hand upside down to get it to level out a little bit more as much as possible before curing I did this for a full 60 seconds because it was a super thick layer and now we are going to file and buff I'm back I actually didn't buff I just filed around my cuticle and the little line from the yellow and black meeting to try and thin that out now one thing I have noticed that from what I've seen nobody else has done I don't know um they've left their nails clear after this point now lava lamps to me have a little bit of tint of whatever color they are that's in them so I mixed a little bit of that same yellow that we used as our base for the dip powder and I mixed it with a little bit of clear and I'm putting that over the yellow jelly drip stuff just in that one area nowhere else to give it that more tinge of yellow because lava lamps aren't clear you know they do have a tinge of color so I did that and I cured that for 30 seconds and here's where our mess began so I decided yeah we'll do chrome like I have a yellow chrome cool um so <laughs> I did this and then brushing it off I realized I had pink glitter from the last chrome that I used in my brush so I got pink on my nails and then I was like, well, let's just go ahead and finish this up. So I started to chrome the top of my nails and I already was like, mm, this isn't looking that good. And I was like, well, maybe this is just to trust the process, let it finish out and see how it goes kind of thing. So I did that. We were top, co top coating and everything. And this is what we ended up with. And I did clean around my cuticles after this and I did not like it. it I looked like, I felt like a beetle. So I filed all of that off and we were just going with straight black and to make it just a little bit more fancy, I am going to add some rhinestones on my ring finger using this McCart rhinestone glue. I got it off of Amazon and um, I'm just going to put this on that nail. I'm not going to cure it yet. I'm going to go in and top coat all of my nails with the Manny Boss 2-in-1 gel and we're gonna top coat um cap our free edge just all of the stuff that we need to do to get this to come together and i am going to apply this top coat directly over that rhinestone glue it's not cured i'm just going to apply top coat directly over it and then we'll be putting our rhinestones on before we cure and that way they'll really lock and seal into place and won't be wiggling around. I won't like have to worry about them popping off or getting caught on anything and coming off. They'll just be locked into place. So I am in doing this and yeah, I was really bummed that the chrome didn't work out on this Manny. Uh, but like I said, it was just too much for me. I don't know. I can be extra with the nails. Y'all know. But that gold, yellow, blue, chrome with the already yellow, like, 
lava situation. I just was not there for it. Uh, it was like too much. And like I said, I really did feel like a beetle. I was like, what is, no, 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 no. We are not doing this. So, anywho, I am using um, four different sizes for this. I'm going to use one big one in the middle, then go down a size and put two of those on either side of that one. And then I'm going to go down a size from that. And I am going to put those ones right underneath the big one and the small one. I was struggling here with this little guy. Right next to each other. We're creating like a triangle situation. And then the tiniest one is going to go right in the front. And then I'm going to put one right at the tip because why not? And this is what we look like. I cured for 90 seconds. And these are the nails. And I actually really like them way better like this. So we did not do chrome. I added the tinge of yellow. I added some rhinestones. This is what we came up with. And they do glow in the dark. So yeah, these are my lava lamp nails. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the bell so you can get notified when I upload because you're really helping your girl out when you do those things. I appreciate y'all and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bitches!